Hey guys, how's it going? This is Nikhil Jade. It's been a while since I've made a video. Now, I thought, why not today? Let's make a video. And to be honest, the whole lockdown, everything's been so crazy uh, here in New Zealand. I think we had one of the longest lockdowns. Um, so a lot has happened over the last, um, I don't know, three, four months. Um, so my Continental GT, I've got a DR650, I've still got my bullet, and I've mentioned that in the previous video, so uh, I'm going to bring my old Royal Enfield back to life, but today's video is about BSA motorcycles. Now we all love British motorcycles, I love British motorcycles, and I know there's a lot of people on this page who loves British motorcycles. On this page. What do you mean on this page, Nikhil? Um, on my YouTube channel, I know there's tons of guys and girls, some girls. I think I, I, I looked at the statistics, it's 99% men who follow my YouTube channel, which is cool. Um, but there's also some ladies who follow, so um, awesome stuff. And um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this uncut. So Jesus talking about ring rust for all those acting classes I take. Doesn't help. Maybe I should quit. Retire right now. Yes. It's, now enough of this crap and let's start talking about British motorcycles. BSA motorcycle brand. Now I know you know, we all know that BSA is back, baby, and they're coming back hot. Like, I'll tell you, the, the BSA 650 Gold Star that we saw a couple nights ago, boy, that thing is a beauty. Like, I am so excited about this brand making a comeback as everyone else's. Um, one of the things I'm going to talk about is a little bit of specs. I'm not a big specs guy. I've never done videos about specs, this and that, solely because... There are so many other people who do a much better job than, you know, I suppose, I don't want to sound pessimistic, but, you know, there's always people who have these, you know, videos about specs and stuff. So I'll leave these videos to these guys, the professionals. But today I'm going to break the rule and I'm going to talk about the specs that I've read online from different various trusted sites. So let's get going. Let's get to this, the BSA Gold Star 650. Now it makes about 45 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and has about 55 Newton meters of torque at about 4,000 RPM. And um, the curb weight of uh, Gold Star uh, is stated as 213 kg. Yeah, well, it's, it, it's, I'm, I'm curious to know how much my bullet is, but I think 213 kg, uh, it's okay, I suppose. And the good thing is, this will be assembled in United Kingdom. Now, this is a big news because everyone's a little worried about, oh, it's going to get mass produced in Asia, and um, obviously BSA, and any British motorcycle, you know, we love them for their heritage and their origins and all this and forth so great news again for the BSA fans and just British motorcycle fans in general it will be assembled in United Kingdom now I'm really curious to see how this fares up with Royal Enfield now Royal Enfield has been doing great but I think the Interceptor might have a bit of a competition with this bike and um, I feel like this bike will be priced a um, little bit higher than the Interceptor and you know lower than the Triumph obviously um, so I think this would be you know say if the Interceptor at least in New Zealand the Interceptor is around close to 11 so I'm guessing about 12 13 K thousand dollars in New Zealand I'm guessing um, but shouldn't be too much of a difference I think I'm looking at I'm probably looking at about 12 K that's my bet uh, 12 and a half maybe in New Zealand twelve thousand dollars um so yes the styling of this bike is great i i really like that they've left pretty much the the charm of the british motorcycle the design and everything is perfect the seat looks great and i'm a big fan of those seats where there's a little bit of curve to it um and i'm not a big fan of those flat seats um uh, i really enjoy interceptor 650 the raw infield one but i'm not a big fan of those flat bench type seat so i really like the uh seat 
uh, in this uh, Gold Star 650, it's got a bit of curve. And um, BSA motorcycles have said that the torque starts building up from as low as 1,800 RPM, and thus delivering a healthy flow throughout the rev range and resulting in effort, effortless cruising and uh, bursts of acceleration when needed. Now, this is something I really like because. I like bikes when, you know, I'm not a big speed guy, but it's good to have bit of power when you can just go fast when you need to, especially with overtaking and stuff, you know, you don't want to make it life and death. <laughs> so there it is. So yeah, chassis, you know, use a, a tubular steel and dual cradle frame and a 41 millimeter of telescopic fork and twin shock absorbers for suspension. Now, there's, you know, all these information, I think, it's irrelevant because the bike looks so great I'm sure you know we don't want to get too much into these details but you know what I've been reading so far I've noted these things down the bike also uses Brembo calipers at both ends um, the wheels on the Gold Star are 18 inch uh, front and about 17 inches at the rear uh, it's got the F uh, Pirelli uh, Phantom sports comp tires which is great, and the, the, the bike has a fuel capacity, the tank capacity, 12 litres. And obviously the weight, as we mentioned, the curb weight is 213 kg. Now, the rest of the features, I, I feel like it does have, um, you know, some interesting features. Like the bike also uses a twin pot analog speedometer and a tachometer with LCD multifunctional display. Now, there's a bit of modernness to it. Uh, obviously, with the, with the headlights powered by the halogen bulb, the tail light is an LED unit. And uh, yeah, it's interesting. Obviously, a ABS is a standard, so um, uh, nowadays with norms. So the Gold Star also features dual channel ABS, a slipper clutch, and um, a handlebar mounted USB charger. Now, these are the things where normally I really don't care about ABS. I love motorcycles with drum brakes. Uh, my Royal Enfield Bullet, the old one, has a drum brake. Break. Um, so, yeah, but th these are great. These are the industry norms now. You've got to meet expectations with safety and all the EU emission laws or whatever it is. So, guys, do let me know in the comments below what do you think about this motorcycle and this model, the BSA 650 Gold Star. And if you rode a BSA in the past, do share your experiences and I would like to know what do you think. If you're new to BSA, if you've been riding BSA all your life, let me know in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day. And if you buy a BSA Gold Star 650, please tag me. I'd love to watch your videos. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>